weather is preventing us from flying to the breakfast club this morning, so road trip! <laughs> Can't have good weather all the time. So we take what we've got when it is given to us.
fellowship. It's about traveling safely whether you travel by car or air. And I want to give the folks, the volunteers at Triple Tree and the folks that fixed this wonderful breakfast for us a big hand. Now, who do we have here who has never been to a breakfast club before? Well, welcome to the South Carolina Breakfast Club. You are now lifetime members. This organization has been going on since 1938 when it was started by a gentleman by the name of Thomas Summers in Orangeburg, South Carolina. He was looking for a reason to spend some father-daughter time with his daughter Sylvia before church in the morning, hence that's why we have it on Sunday morning. And they would get together and go to a different airport every other week and pretty soon, Mr. Summer's friends got wind that he was going out flying every, Sunday, every other Sunday morning and called him up and said, let us know where you're going, we'll meet you there. And so the tradition began and they had a little bit more flexibility then than we do now about where they stopped. We have pictures that Sylvia, his daughter, who's still living in Orangeburg, showed us when they would fly down to the coast of South Carolina, land on the beach, get out tables and serve meals, serve breakfast on the beach. And in Lamar, they would land on Main Street and back the airplanes up to the storefronts, walk into the restaurant, have breakfast, get in and take off on Main Street.
Mr. Summers started to award the person who made the worst landing. <laughs> and the way it used to work is whoever made the worst landing had to sign the ball and take it with them and bring it back to the next breakfast club. Well, between 38 and 46, they lost so many balls because people would have made bad landings wouldn't come back that the president started holding on to them. But another honor I want to bestow on Ben is we've had so few poor landings that we've started judging tailwheel landings and we've had so many good tailwheel landings that we've had to start picking positive reasons to have people sign the ball for anything from flying the most unique airplane in to making a wonderful accomplishment to just making a nice tailwheel landing. So I want to get you to sign the ball for all the work and adventure you went to flying around the U.S. That is an accomplishment that probably 1% of the pilots ever will accomplish. If I'm the only one that flew and I had to have the worst landing. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you had the best landing. Yeah. I guarantee you probably made some bad ones along this trip. Nobody was there to watch. So they so all the best they all perfect. Then you're up again. I'm going to let you draw the tickets. Happy Friday, you're on. Oh, that's happened. I think Gerald said four times in the history of his doing this, the person that drew the ticket was the person who won. First number is a zero. Y'all still in? Yeah. All right. Next number is a two. Mm. Still in, Pat? Nope. Nope. Oh. Had you done. <laughs> All right. Last number is a four. Who's got two, two, four? Right over here in the corner. Fun, hospitality, friendship are what Tupper Tree is built on. And we love you folks to be here and be a part of it. 
And once you spend a little time here, you'll become infected with it, and it's hard to get away from it. I came from North Carolina about seven, eight years ago just to be here at Triple Creek. And uh, I have enjoyed every minute I've had here. And I think any of you that are interested at all, uh, you will enjoy. Triple Creek is run by volunteers. Most of the folks you see out here today are involved. We have two, two employees and uh, everybody else are, are volunteers. All the mowing and so much of the work is done by volunteers. But we want you to come back and be a part of it and become a volunteer with us.